Hey everybody, I thought it was about time I documented our experience of getting the NBN put on. We had to go to Telstra and change our plan over because we've changed address. We now live in Bansdale. So we had the opportunity here of going straight on to NBN. At, back at Cockatoo we'd been on ADSL2 and it was as slow as anything. It was like snail's pace. No, it was even slower than snail's pace. It was just horrible. Couldn't do live shows, couldn't do anything. Um, it was just ridiculous, actually. So anyway, here now in Bansdale and looking forward to being connected to the NBN, thinking how wonderful this is going to be great and uh, all the rest of it, you know, being able to watch Netflix without it dropping out and uh, obviously uploading videos a lot quicker and the whole iPhone, mobile phone experience being improved. So I went to Telstra and got that all so sorted a uh, big shout out to Curtis at the local Telstra store too. He was very helpful. So we got our plans changed over and updated and that was all quite successful. Part of that process was also organising the Telstra smart modem to come to this new address because our old modem being on the ADSL plan uh, would not work. Within a couple of days we received the Telstra smart modem and we had also booked the NBN process to be happening. The smart modem is quite good because even without NBN it works uh, because it's got its own SIM card. Now it's only connected to the 4G network so before the NBN crowd turned up we were already connected because of the Telstra smart modem. So that was great so we could run uh, Netflix, I, w I, I could even upload videos and that was all still way better than ADSL2 because we we're on 4G. But then the NBN thing started to happen and uh, we got a date that they were going to come to the house. The day comes and they give you a time which is great, well I'm thinking this is really efficient, things are looking good here and uh, I'm waiting for a phone call to verify all this. No phone call came. There was no knock on the door. I had to stay home all day waiting for Mr. Nobody. Nobody came. The next day I thought, well, I'll give them a, a ring. The process you've got to go through when you ring is quite involved. And uh, it got to the point where I think I was on the phone for at least one hour the first time. On the phone they knew, they could see that I had had uh, a call connected but they wanted me to run some checks and I had to myself check all the uh, potential points in the house that the uh, Telstra smart modem could be connected to because the guy on the phone was assuming that the guy didn't come the NBN guy didn't come to the house because they had done it all externally. So he's under the assumption that it's been done externally, no need to come to the house, therefore I am actually connected, it's just something within the house that is wrong. So he got me to, to, uh, to go to the three points in the house where I could potentially plug in the smart modem. I did that, I went around every point, I have to wait a certain amount of time for it to register at their end and um, Nothing was happening. So he, he passed me on to a more, a more technical person. He, I can't remember the language ago uh, because this was a month ago. The language he was using was saying basically, I'm, I'm, I'm your front man, now I'm going to send you to the tech man. I went to the tech man and he wanted me to go through exactly the same procedure. So I had to try and explain to him that I'd already done everything that he was asking me to do. I'd done with the previous guy. It was very, very frustrating. I'm a bit of a novice with all of this kind of tech gear. I understand things that I've built up in my own sort of capability over time, but with the up, you know, technology gets upgraded, updated, and you've got to try and keep up with all this stuff. And I find that impossible. So I just go with things when they happen. The smart modem comes along. I'm trying to understand how it works. And I'm trying to run with what this guy on the phone is telling me. Anyway, go through all of that. And he says, no, there's nothing registering at my end. I will have to rebook another call. 
Uh, there is obviously something going on. Uh, I think in a part of that process was a call that he had to make to, because this is dealing with Telstra online, not NBN Co. The Telstra guy had to make some kind of connection with NBN to find out if they had connected me externally or not. Another day later, he rings me back, tells me that he's booked another uh, connection day and time because there was no external connection made. So I think this was uh, about the Thursday of one week and it was rebooked for the Monday. I happened to be at home on Sunday, the <laughs> early morning, and um, I get a knock on the door, and the guy's there, and I say, oh, yeah, can I help you? And he's got NBN Co. written across. He says, oh, I'm here to connect up your, your, your internet. And I go, aren't you, aren't you supposed to come tomorrow? And he says, no, I've got it all booked here for today. So, okay, this is all getting quite ridiculous. Anyway... I was happy to see him because I thought, well, at last, at least it's going to happen. I'm here. I haven't got anything else to do, fortunately. So anyway, the NBN guy comes into the house, into here in our office where everything's sort of got two computers happening, and um, he starts his tests. And no, he's doing the same tests that I did, that I had to do on, on the phone for the guy, plugging into the three different points. He runs around the three different points in the house, no connection. There's nothing happening. Then he asks me, where is your connection to Telstra? Little box that Telstra has on most houses. And um, so I took him to that point and we have a look inside the box and the thing is not connected at all. There's the three wires going into the house, uh, quite visible there, but the connection from the street, there's only a cord. There is no wire Nothing is connected to anything. It's all just hanging there free. He says to me, oh, we're going to have to do a little bit more work here to get this all happening. This is where the whole process went from the ridiculous to the absurd. Because then we proceeded out onto the street. Now, he's, this is happening on a Sunday, so he's got no one to call to come and help him. So he asks me if I can go and help him out on the nature strip to investigate all the different telecommunications boxes that are out on the street here. Now, we live in the CBD of Bansdale, and there's boxes everywhere. We went from one box to another. Some of them were full of water. We're opening and closing boxes, <laughs> left, right and centre, to try and find the NBN connection, where, because, there's a, because of that uh, bit of cord that was at our house, it obviously goes somewhere out there on the street and that's what we were trying to find so we went from box to box with no luck uh, until eventually we found the correct box and there lo and behold is the other end of our cord uh, in in one of the boxes but the problem was from that box there was another cord <laughs> this is not the end of it which went somewhere else we had to go to all these other boxes all over again then to try and find where that cord went from. So, first of all, there's no connection in the house. Then there's no connection to the street. Then there's no, there's no connection from that point to wherever the NBN has been run in the street. And this guy has no idea where it would be. So once again, we go investigating and just about to give up and he's, he goes walking up the nature strip up a nearby street here and stumbles across a small old Telstra kind of box and he says, I think that's it. <laughs> we open it up, it's full of mud. It's just mud and sludge. Pull out all the mud and there, lo and behold, is the little thing that the NBN is in. So, okay, we've located that. Now the problem was getting the wiring, which he had to supply, was in his truck. We had to supply that wiring uh, to run from that point 
into the other point on the street and then from that point to the house. Now, as it turns out, he decided to run it backwards. So he got his big long reel of wires at our point in the house or just outside the back door. And he got me out on the street at the first connection and uh, he tied the wires on. I'm pulling, he, I'm on the mobile phone. I've got it on speakerphone out on the street and he's talking to me via that. So first of all, we pull through the wire from the house and then he reconnects to the point up the street and then he spent a bit of time connecting up all the wires it's still coming yeah. still orange so we had the connection done <laughs> which uh, he was quite um, he, he was actually very good through the whole process, but he said this should have been done in the initial Telstra connection uh, when, it was, when it would just have been a phone connection. Whoever from Telstra initially didn't do the right thing, as far as this guy was concerned anyway, and uh, they never connected up. Not only did they not connect up the house, they didn't connect up within the street. That's the telephone cable, now he's got a connected up to the house so we're on the street connected and it's being done by yours truly I'm working for MBN today <laughs> double absurdity as far as I'm concerned okay so that's the end of the absurd process then he does a few to it uh, coming and going connecting everything up and finally the whole lot is connected and we're on NBN now, as it turns out, with the NBN uh, through Telstra, we got a, a 50 megabits per second plan. And so he ran the speed test and we're quite happy. Everything's running really well. So after that long, long process, in the end, I'm really happy because we have a fast connection. I can upload videos so much quicker than I ever could in the past. Uh, about one minute of video takes me one minute to upload. Whereas back at Cockatoo, it would be about one hour to upload, one minute. So that's fast enough for me. And the download speeds are great. We've got both uh, computers connected direct to the Telstra smart modem. They're not on Wi-Fi. Got a direct connection. We've just got our phones and the Apple TV and the Telstra TV connected via Wi-Fi. It's fast, fast and furious, but the experience to get it there was quite interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all again very soon. Bye.